Hey folks, what's up? This is Dan. So the PyCon vlog um, kind of petered out there. I've got a couple more interviews and stuff that I would like to share and some, some rambly videos where I just talk into the camera. But um, there was one video I really wanted to do you know, before I kind of stop this series. And that is a um, PyCon swag bag unpacking or just kind of rummage through this thing and um, show you what's inside. So I actually haven't really taken a look at it. I stuffed some of the extra stuff that I got, like, you know, some t-shirts that I want to show you as well in there. Um, I know there's one really, really cool thing that I'm excited about that I want to play with in a little bit. I'll probably do that in another video. So this would be more like um, an overview of what's in the swag bag. So the swag bag, um, when you go to PyCon, you get a little um, ticket with your badge where uh, you can go and you can pick up your swag bag. So it's just a, a bag and it has a bunch of, you know, messages from sponsors and um, some goodies and um, the PyCon t-shirt if you uh, if you ordered one. And um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to show you what that's like. So this is sort of kind of Python related, but, um, um, you know, we're not really gonna talk and be talking about programming, so. So yeah, your mileage might, might vary on this. So, okay, so let's go over some of the t-shirts. So this is um, a shirt for the Pi Cascades conference that I got from uh, my friend Don Shu. And um, I'm pretty excited about this conference. So definitely wanna be there because I couldn't make it to the last one. And um, yeah, Pi Cascades in, uh, in Seattle, I believe, 2019. So if you can make it, you know, be sure to get your tickets when they, when they come online. I'm not sure when they start selling those, but it's actually a pretty cool shirt too. Um, all right, so that wasn't part of the swag bag, but it's just something I got. Um, another thing I got, I, I believe that's a Heroku shirt. So we use Heroku to run um, realpython.com and you know, I'm a big fan of Heroku. I uh, used them for a long time. I think it's just a, you know, and it serves that's great. You pay for a lot of convenience and I'm always happy to pay for convenience and you know being able to sleep at night because my stuff just keeps running and doesn't go down. So got the shirt from them, that's exciting. Probably make for a good gym shirt. Start some uh, nerdy conversations, conversations in the gym. Um, all right, so here's the PyCon shirt. Man, that's a lot of shirts. All right, that's pretty cool. I haven't tried it on for size, but um, this might, might work. It's nice and green, it's got a snake. And, uh, and yeah, nice. So that's it for the shirts. All right, so let's dig in some of the other stuff. So we've got a, uh, a water bottle, but don't really have a use for that. If you want a free water bottle in Vancouver, hit me up. Um, okay, PyCon sticker, very important. You can put that on your laptop. I really like putting stickers on my laptop. So again, if you want a free PyCon sticker, <laughs> hit me up. Um, yeah, okay, so this is the thing that I'm really excited about. Um, pen, that, that's not what I'm excited about, but um, it's, it's this little thing, but I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. So just quickly go over the other stuff. Um, yeah, some other sticker. Um, I guess there's just a lot of like marketing messages and stuff. Um, that looks like some kind of like mug, cooler, holder, insulation thing. Um, so you get a lot of these essentially, you know, it's like little brochures and um, uh, I, I don't know what these guys do, but you know, you get a little sort of piece of paper here that's, that's uh, marketing material. Um, and um, uh, what's, what's cooler though is that you also get stuff like this, where it's like little samples. So, so this, is, um, this is Sugru, or I don't know how to pronounce this, Sugru, I guess, Sugru, Sugru. Um, so I haven't, I've always been, you know, curious about this, wanted to try it. So this is sort of this, um, um, this goop that uh, I believe it's a, is it a plastic? So, um, so yeah, so essentially what you can do with this thing, is like you, you open, you unpack this and then it's still, you know, you, you can, you can sort of mold it and, and, and put it into the shape you want and then it will harden, but it will sort of turn into this flexible, um, plastic-like materials, so you can use it, you know, to fix cables, and I think you can also use it to, um, you know, like a touch, attach stuff to the walls and things like that. So this this stuff is really expensive. So you know, I didn't just want to order it for for fun, um, but I want to try this out. I'm sure I can find something that's broken that I could maybe um, fix with this. So thank you, whoever 
whoever gave this out. This is pretty cool. Um, okay, so what do you got here? This is, I think this is some gum from Squarespace. Um, I'm usually a bit cautious if you know people give me free food. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna <laughs> see how that works out. Okay, then yeah, there's a bunch more like sponsorship messages. So the rest I think essentially is all like sponsorship messages. Um, here, Python Academy, um, Mike Mueller, guy does great stuff, um, great corporate training. So check out that. Um, there's a, a PSF, Python Software Foundation sticker. So you get a bunch of stickers, you know, and then there's some, um, I guess this is, uh, yeah, just some some ads for for companies, and um, sometimes you get you know you get some giveaways or like some free stuff. So the, those guys are giving away like an iPad Pro that you can win, and you can get some credits when you sign up for their platform. So it can be good for that, you know, when you're just trying to try out some services. Um, there's a bunch more stickers. Exciting, probably most excited about the stickers. And, um, but yeah, it's mostly, you know, um, a bunch of paper um, and many you know, people sort of pitching their products. And uh, what do we got here? Facebook, Instagram. So they're, uh, this is kind of nice. Like they're explaining or like they're, they're giving you a bio of, like, bio of all the people that, that are speaking and that are hanging out there. So it looks like um, Instagram because of their backend, it's, it's all running on Python. Um, it's doing a big push to hire engineers or Python engineers. So, so yeah, I guess that's what that looks like. It's kind of cool. You know, it's kind of cool to see, um, just, you know, that they're doing so much cool stuff with Python. Uh, I mean, that, that's amazing. Um, I love their talk they were giving about, uh, migrating, uh, their, their backend for Instagram to Python three. I think it was last year. That was, that was really cool. Um, yeah, so more, more stickers, a Python three sticker. Yes, this is great. It's probably my favorite sticker here. Go with Python 3. And, um, okay, well, of course you get the bag, right? If you wanna run, run buy groceries with this bag, then it's like instant credibility if you run into someone who's using Python. And uh, yeah, so, so we're all done here, except, except, and I saw this in the, uh, in the education summit, um, which is like a get together for Python trainers and educators that, um, you know, I snuck in <laughs> and uh, I sat there for a couple of talks, but I saw someone from, so the company's called uh, Adafruit, uh, adafruit.com, I believe. And they're, they're doing some, you know, it's like an online electronics store and for like tinkers and, and makers and stuff. Okay, so, so this thing, I have no idea what this is called, but this is, um, uh, th this is awesome. Okay, so I gotta, uh, I gotta open this up and, um, so the demo I saw, I was really excited about, and I actually want to do um, a second video on this. So this is a tiny microcontroller. So it's you know it's 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 very very small. It's about a about the size of a of a toonie. It's like a two dollar Canadian two dollars piece, I guess, and a coin. And so so check this out. So this is it's got a bunch of connectors. And there's also a, U, a micro USB connector back here. And there's a bunch of, it looks like there's some like toggle switches and a little um, button here. And I believe there's also tiny, tiny um, LED on this thing. Is this gonna autofocus? Probably not. Um, so, okay, so why am I excited about this thing? So what is crazy, so, okay, so this thing is called a Gemma um, M0. It's made by Adafruit and it's like a special version, I guess they made for PyCon. So, um, okay, so what's cool about this thing is that it's a microcontroller that runs uh, MicroPython, which is like a Python 3 version or re-implementation of the Python interpreter for, for microcontrollers or like really, really low power, um, low computational power devices. And the demo I saw was just crazy. So essentially you plug this thing in and it mounts itself as um, as a USB drive. So it's like a fat formatted drive. So your computer can just access it. And the root folder of the drive has a uh, main.py main file. And you can just go in, edit that file, and, and the, the controller is gonna reload that file and it's gonna execute that program. So the demo was, 
you know, guy attaches it to his computer, opens that main.py file and text editor, and uh, changes the program that blinks the LED, hit save, and like a split second later, this thing would blink at a different frequency and intensity. So um, I'm, I wanna replicate that demo because to me that was just like such a nice demo, you know, to get people excited about this like MicroPython stuff. Um, so, so yeah, I wanna see how, how well that works. I hope it doesn't need like any, any external power. I think it just takes like micro USB. So um, yeah, what I wanna do is another video and also record my screen, just kind of show you how this all works together because I thought that was just insanely cool. And um, I don't have any plans to do anything with this thing except for, you know, blink the LED and push the button a little bit. But um, yeah, for some reason I got really excited about this. Um, so yeah, so a while ago I built, um, I built this like Wi-Fi radio it's actually a couple of years ago and I, um, it, the code is open source and I, it's powered by a Raspberry Pi and it has this like really sort of low res LCD display and I, I wrote a bunch of like graphic routines and stuff for that. So you can find that on my GitHub. Um, I, I believe it's called uh, the Pi Radio. And so I guess for some reason, you know, I always, I've always been in, in love, you know, for, for little like electronics like that and, and tinkering with stuff like that. And uh, although the, the radio was really the only sensible thing I ever did with this. So, so yeah, so I don't know how much this, how much more this thing can do, but this is honestly like what I'm the most excited about um, um, as far as the swag bag goes. So, um, so yeah, stay tuned for, for a demo video there. And I don't know, I don't know how, how much they cost. Like, I think they're like, they're probably less than 20 bucks for sure. So um, yeah, it's cool. Python everywhere. It's crazy. It's like Python in the palm of your hand. It's nuts. All right. <laughs> That's it for the swag bag.